Hi, dear loves. This is Nicole, and this is our spiritual guidance for March 24th. And no, we're not going to do the 25th. I feel like no. I just heard no. So just for March 24th, this energy is, honey, it's intense. You feel like the, the pot of, of water on the stove is starting to boil. It's starting to get very intense. We are facing those truths that are very difficult and we have to be vulnerable. I do feel in your vulnerability, you're receiving relationship harmony. And that is sibling, uh, co-workers, managers. You're understanding this truth that has surfaced about yourself. That truth is being conveyed to you through your interaction with others, best friends. You're seeing really what was missing at the core of that foundation. Oh, thank you so much. And I am seeing our chakras right now. So I absolutely want to start there. Thank you so much. Divine Source, thank you so much. There's our first one. All right, best friends. You are understanding the wisdom of your heart is telling you whether they have been solid friendships or whether you've had to let people go. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and you know, I felt it, I feel it in a sibling, a brother. So we're on this quest, this journey for truth. This is speaking our truth. This is our throat chakra. And guess what? We source, if you're in our workshops, you know this, you know this answer already. Because it's so beautiful. We just asked and answered this question, I think last week, right? So where do we source our energy of our heart chakra from? Okay, so I'm not gonna go into it to teacher mode because I love it. That's my passion. Okay, so I'm a spiritual advisor, a spiritual educator. But I'm gonna let everyone answer that. And I want you to go ahead and put it down below. My students in our manifestation workshops, the Twin Flame workshop and our Spiritual Secret Code of Life workshop, put it down there. Where do we house our energy from for our throat chakra? Thank you so much. And there it is. Oh my gosh, this is just going in a path. This is our solar plexus. So on this Friday, March 24th. These are the energies that we are working with. Thank you so much. No, Ascended Masters. Okay. And our Ascended Masters are coming in loud and clear. Thank you so much. We've got Quest, Gossip, and Miracle. Take charge of the situation because you're seeing the truth of it. Remember, there's an overwhelming truth happening next week and you're already seeing it. What did they allow me to channel in the beginning? Because, honey, I don't know anymore. I, if, I have, if I keep it, I think I would be a basket case. So thank you so much for rewinding it and knowing and following along because I try to grab it. And sometimes it's coming at me so fast. Thank you so much. Archangel Sandalphon, for my dear loves that are receiving your messages through music. Your prayers are being answered. And this also is the music that's on your soul. You know when you just want to start singing, when you're cleaning and you're doing whatever it else, whatever it is, you just start you start humming. That's Archangel Sandalphon. Please pay attention to whatever that vision is that's on your soul. Where does your mind go to? Where do your where's your thought process headed? What are you focused on at that moment that made you start humming? So also, Archangel Sandalphon's name means co-brother as a co-brother to Archangel Metatron. So Archangel Sandalphon was carnated, lived a lofty life on earth, and was welcomed into heaven on such on the on the highest celestial station which is archangels so i want you to really know that you're working with archangel sandalphon friday today i want you to start playing your music i want you to hum i want you to chant 
For my dear loves out there that have been told that you don't have talent chanting, yes, you do. That's calling in the most high. Don't you listen to them. These are people that are not as connected uh, spiritually as you are. And sometimes you are being told that so that you can teach them. Okay. We've got Moses here, the parting of the Red Sea. Take charge. You have the ability to manifest that which you are affirming and planting seeds through your thought process. Remember, all is mind and the universe is mental. Okay, that principle is key, foundational in the art of manifestation. I really encourage all of you to truly look into our uh, manifestation workshop and our twin flame manifestation workshop. And it's not just twin flame because we know twin flame is the highest of spiritual love, but you're also manifesting soulmate connections of the romantic nature, okay? Because we know soulmate love is universal and um, crosses all connections, all types of relationship bonds there. So it could be best friend, it could be sibling, it could be mother child, father child, it could be grandparent, it could be anything, neighbor, coworker. So wisdom of our heart chakra is what we're focusing on today, Friday, March 24th. Charmaine Chartreuse, I've never met a person I didn't like. Charmaine is eccentric and kind from her chartreuse greenhouse to her fascination with scarves. She is a topic of town gossip. After her death, the local people discover her incredibly detailed paintings of their town and realize she was an extraordinary artist, okay, who painted their lives with love. They feel sadness for never having really known her. Wherever those cracks in the foundation are, when you're saying, you really never know who I, who I was. You really never took the time to see who, what I care about, where my passion is. You're, you're in touch with that truth. If anybody's been faking the funk and you really have seen that they're not supportive of you and your endeavors, they don't believe in you, then honey... It's time for you to believe in yourself. Always raise your vibration to the highest of yourself. The inspiration here is Charmaine Chartreuse suggests that appreciating differences is key. You ready for this next sentence? This is warning you that you may lose a valued relationship if you do not appreciate what you have. So this is talking to those who have really not given support to others and really been me, 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 me focused too much. This is balancing it out because Aries energy is very I surf, uh, focused. It's very self-centered energy. So we all have shadowy energy, every single one of us. So don't take that as a negative, but if we're not balancing out our energy, our vibration, okay, then we're lacking in the opposite side of it. Remember, all energetic vibration has an equal polarity minus the pineal gland, which is the opposite of subconscious and conscious. Our personal inquiry here is uniqueness. Or Charmaine is about prejudice and misunderstanding. What am I resisting? So this is change in the air. Remember, we're manifesting whatever is on your soul. We're putting in that first seedling in the ground on the Aries new moon. Are you, are you uh, making new music? Are you an artist of, of drawing and painting? Are you going to buy new, a new canvas? Are you rediscovering that you like to take photographs of different things? Are you playing piano now more and you realize that your passion has been reignited? Our key ideas are uniqueness of others. 
naivety, support for your vision, lack of appreciation, refocusing your life, freedom, dance, and honor. Remember, Archangel Sandalphon is the Archangel of Music. As you dance today, I want you to pay attention to the aha moment that comes. Because spirit knows you're on a quest. And this is the Navy Trail. Navy combines the blue of communication, our throat chakra, with the darkness of the unknown, which goes up to our spiritual sight our third eye, allowing us to discover the truth, which we know the prior chakra is our heart chakra, which is where we source our truth from, the wisdom of our heart. There is bravery here and an ability to face the truth head on. And that's what we've been talking about. I assert myself with love and respect. I show my compassion for others through my voice. And those affirmations just came to me, so I pray that whoever they were meant for received them. Honey, we're manifesting miracles. Don't you stop before your miracle is received, but don't you forget that you have to put in that part B, okay? You have to put in that part B to the vision. You've got to act on it. You've got to make a tangible step forward. We've already had the planning stage, right? With the Virgo full moon. So now you're ready. This is integrity is what turns on the light. What comes from the dark is what we see in the light. It's the truth. Remember what I said earlier. All I'm seeing is the truth. I'm seeing the light bulb. Dark, oh my gosh. Listen to this legend. This is how good spirit is. Darkville, what a name, is a town of self-centered people. Ooh, who is this talking about? Is it talking about you? <laughs> is it? Is it talking about you or is it talking about someone else? This is the vulnerability that is needed. When you know it's talking about you, then you just have to say, oh, and have that look on your face. And you feel that hot, cold feeling because spirit just touched you. And you just feel like you just repented just now because you're like, oh, Nicole is talking about me. You know, or Nicole is talking about him. <laughs> or her. One day, Betty is given too much change after making a purchase. And she returns the extra money. A brilliant light bursts from the stump of a dead oak tree in the center of the town. The citizens are bewildered by the sudden brightness, but neither question the sun sparkler nor change their cheating ways. One day, a child asks it, why it, why it came. It tells her that it shines for all that is good in the world and appears when a good deed occurs. The residents of Darkville are touched and become more selfless. Our inspiration is do you let someone in or do you pretend not to see them? You cannot shut out pain without shutting out pleasure. This is vulnerability at its best. Kindness exists to lend magic to integrity. The essence of inspiration is integrity. Can I be counted on? Being a light, lighting the way for others. Coming miracles. Integrity, gifts, and rewards. Thank you so much, Heavenly Angels. And we're just going to do one last. Thank you so much, Divine Angels. Thank you, Archangel Sandalphon, for sending the answers to our prayers. Woo! 
Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love that. That looked like a ballerina to me. It looked like shh, and that's what it that's what it looked like to me. 19. So I pray that that meant something for someone because that's exactly what I just saw. Ballerina twirling doo -doo -doo, on a jewelry chest. Okay. On a treasure chest. Deeper look. Here we go. Here we go. You are opening to a unique perspective. You are now able to see below the surface to gain a much deeper understanding of what is taking place. This is not this not only applies to your life but to your understanding of other people as well. You will be able to see the smallest detail and see the energetic pattern of what is occurring. You'll see the consequences, both positive and negative, of your decisions and where they will lead you. Vulnerability. This gives you the ability to offer sound counsel to others and to lead your own life in the right direction. Woo, honey. Woo, ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel like asking for our theme. This is love. This is sibling. This is family. This is work. This is within ourselves. I'm receiving our spiritual guidance. Honey, you know, let the haters be your motivators. You've got miracles to receive. You've got manifestations. Thank you so much that you are putting your work in too. All right. No toxicity. Say no to the haters. Say no to the gossip. Say no to the abuse. Say no to the old patterns that you put yourself in. Say no to the old way of doing things. Say no to the fear. Say no to the inability. Say no to doubt. You are capable, you are courageous, you are strong, you are brave. You are shining your light. You are closed off to all that is toxic. You are not about anything else that doesn't serve you or anyone else. You are not about giving your energy to anybody who does not appreciate you. You are all about being of service. You are all working for humanity as you serve in your spiritual gifts. You are proving that you love, that you enjoy, that you will thrive in your life mission. You are opening yourself up to the infinite bestowals from divine source. Honey, you are manifesting. Self-respect is self-value. It is wisdom. It is growth. It is knowing your boundaries. It is so much more than you have ever received before. What are you worth? It is me. I am is the energy of the Aries new moon on the 27th. And today is the 24th. I am. And that is your affirmation. You fill in the rest. I am. And what is it that you are saying no to? And yes to so that you can receive. Raise your vibration and kiss your higher self. Relax in your awareness and your connection to divine source. Happy manifesting, honey. I will see you tomorrow. Love you.